I assume that most of you are meetup people. Yeah. We are really going to need your help. Uh, we're going to have to get lots of signatures. We're going to have tons and tons of things for you all to do. So just thank you very, very much. We want tea! 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 Let me first start to thank the meetup.com people. Yeah. He wants to take back the Democratic Party, and that's what I've been wanting for years. You know, I talked to a lot of Democrats in the last year and a half running around this country. And the most interesting thing that I've found about Democrats is that they're almost as angry at the Democratic Party as they are at the Republican Party. He's seen through the trap of the Republicans getting the Democrats to use their language. We lost two great senators, one from Georgia and one from Missouri this past year. And the reason was that their platform was, I voted with the president 85% of the time. I like his fiscal policies. I like the fact that he's turned in all these balanced budgets. The first thing is I want to balance the budget. Now, you know, it's been a long time since we've had tax and spend liberals in the Democratic Party. Now we have borrow and spend people who can't balance the books in the Republican Party. They're using the Argentine fiscal model to try to make the country work properly. No Republican president has balanced the budget in 34 years in this country. If you want someone you can trust with your hard-earned taxpayer dollars, you better elect a Democrat because you can't trust Republicans with your money. It seems to me he's not afraid to be a Democrat. With the same problems that you have in California and every place else, we have a balanced budget. We're not raising taxes. We didn't cut higher education. We didn't cut K through 12 education. We didn't cut health care for kids or for anybody else. If you want social justice, you have to put aside the money when the times are good, because at those times when times aren't so good, that's when people need the help of the government the most. He's the, uh, he's the uh, Democrat who's standing up for the principles we believe in. I think the debate it should be, can we afford a tax cut at all when we have the Woo! biggest deficit in the history of the country and a war going on with no way to pay for it? He's someone who speaks his mind, even if it's not always going to be the popular thing with everybody. In our state, everybody under 18 has health insurance. We simply made Medicaid into a middle-class entitlement. If you make $54,000 a year less in the state of Vermont, your kids under 18 are not entitled to health care. If we can do that in a small rural state, which is 26th in income in the country, surely the most powerful and wealthy society in the face of the earth can join every other industrialized nation. The Japanese have it. The Germans have it. The Israelis have it. The Canadians have it. Even the dreaded French have it. I'm a teacher, and so one of the things I like most about him is his education policy. There are a lot of folks in Washington in my party who voted for the No Child Left Behind bill. I call it the No School Board Left Standing bill. It's an enormous unfunded mandate. It's making class size go up. The state of Ohio has already voted to reduce their educational standards to get 200 schools off their 700 school failing list. This bill is taking America backwards, not forwards. And our guys voted for it enough. He's honest, he has integrity, he's willing to say what he means and do what he thinks is right. One of the saddest moments that I had as an American in the last couple of months is when this president used the word quota five or six times on the evening news when he came out and opposed the University of Michigan Affirmative Action Program. He's good on all the issues, he's got great personality and super charisma. I am tired of being divided by race! I am tired of being divided by income. I am tired of being divided by gender. I am tired of being divided by sexual orientation. I am tired of being divided by religion. He doesn't flinch. He's a true Democrat. We haven't had one for about 30 years. I appreciate the notion of give him hell, Howard, but I don't give him hell. I just tell him the truth, and I think that's hell. All right. All right. All right. Harry Truman said that. Dean represents hope to me. We're going to rebuild this party and then we're going to rebuild this country. I want my country back. We want our country back again. I would definitely like to get the party back. We want our Democratic Party back again. The needs of the common American aren't being met. There will be no Americans left when I become President of the United States who will be discriminated against because of who they are or what they are. We will be a society where all Americans are equal in the eyes of the law. He's the anti-Bush. We are going to say no 
to the politics of the 1850s, and yes, to the politics of the 21st century. Come with me, do it together, be with us, Rally California. Let's win in California. Let's win in New Hampshire. Let's win in Iowa. Thank you very, very much for all your help. Thank you for your support. Go tell your friends. Get on the internet. Tell everybody you know we're going to do it together. We're going to take back America. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.